In this video, we'll talk about how to mount the front panels. For the work, you will need tape ruler, square, balance level, string and chalk, knife cutter, metal hacksaw with small teeth or angle grinder, screwdriver, electronic drill or perforating machine, and screw driving machine. As crate, we recommend using the Alta Profil facade fastening system, which is an ideal frame for the future facade. The polymer crate sections will be screwed to metal brackets, so first we mark the wall in order to determine the places where they will be fastened. The distance between the vertical rows on which we will fix the sections must be no more than 40 cm. For individual collections, no more than 30 cm. The walls of this house will be decorated with front panels from the Rocky Stone collection. We will make the base stand out with the Faggot collection. For mounting of finishing elements, plates and corners, ordinary flat sections are suitable. To fix the sections on the brackets, mounting plates need to be inserted into the special side holes on the both sides. To do this, apply the section to the brackets and mark the places for mounting the cover plates. Then install the elements on the both sides by latching. The cover plates are firmly held on the section, but in order to strengthen the structure, we recommend additionally fixing them with self-tapping screws. Then, using the balance level, we set the flat section along the perimeter of the walls, window and door openings. The balance level in this case is required for leveling the plane for fixing the panels. Do not forget about the important rule. The top section must not be installed immediately adjacent to the bottom one. Special whiskers will help you meet this requirement and leave the required clearance. Once the sections for fitting finishing elements are installed, it is possible to proceed with fastening of the wide flat sections for front panels. The lower row must be mounted with a level ruler or string so that all the elements are strictly level, both horizontally and vertically. Let us remind you that the distance between the rows must be no more than 40 cm. Similarly, the second and all the subsequent rows are mounted. If you need to reduce the section length to install the last row, simply cut off its top part you don't need, as shown in our video. The last step for arranging the structure for front panels is installation of metal corners, which must be secured around windows and doors, as well as the corners of the building. Screw a metal corner to the flat section. The angle must be exactly 90 degrees. The balance level will help you there. Then, using a self-tapping screw, fix the block, which will make the entire structure even more rigid. Let's pass over to the windows. Since they are at the same level as the wall, we will initiate reveals to fix the required plates. To do this, immediately adjacent to the window along the perimeter, we install a metal section. It is necessary to attach one side of the metal corner to it. We fix the other side of it on the crate section. To make the structure rigid, we use a wooden block here again. Thus, we have completely prepared the frame for the installation. In short, the process of installing front panels on the prepared surface starts with installation of starting and finishing elements, corners, window trimming and reveals. After that, the panels are installed. As a starting plate for mounting, a standard starting metal section can be used. If the lower part of the facade is parallel to the horizon, if the house is sloped, the installation must start with a J-profile plate. And the lower part of the panel must be cut at an angle, so that its perforated upper part after installation is strictly parallel to the horizon. If the basement of the building is offset from the wall, first install the panels on the base, and then proceed with finishing the walls. On this house, we decided to visually highlight the base. At the beginning of the work, we fixed a gutter in the lower part of the facade to protect the perimeter walk, and the J-profile was installed over the gutter. On the corners of the building, outer corners are installed. It is important to fix them through the hole in the top part. For more reliable corner fixing, use the special side mounts. Installation of front panels is performed from left to right. As you can see, the first panel when mating with the corner requires trimming. In this case, the joint will be blind. Using an angle grinder, cut off a small part of the panel so that its left edge is even and mate it with the outer corner. 
Fix the panel with galvanized self-tapping screws by screwing them into the center of the perforation. Do not screw the self-tapping screw in until it stops. Leave a small gap for possible expansion or contraction of the panel in the event of a temperature change. The next panel is mated with the previous one with special locks. After connecting, it must also be fixed with self-tapping screws. The remaining first row panels are installed in a similar way. Please note, use of the special Alta Profile facade mounting system will save you the necessity to use a balance level or gradient meter. The last right panel of any row is mated with the outer corner. Measure the distance from the edge of the installed panel to the inner part of the corner groove. So you determine the length of the last panel. Sometimes, to complete the row, you lack just a small part of the panel, as in our example. In this case, you need to use one more panel, measure out the required distance and cut off the part not needed with the angle grinder. After that, you need to match the last panels in the row and insert them into the corner. As you can see, for convenience, the last but one panel should better not be bolted to the crate. Do that at the end. So, we have mounted panels on the base of the building. A metal gutter is installed over the base. If the base is a protruding part, the gutter is mandatory. If not, it performs a decorative function. Next, we turn to finishing the main part of the facade. Before installing the siding or front panels, you must install all the finishing elements. First, a mounting base structure is mounted on the corner of the facade. It is screwed to the rim with self-tapping screws through the special hole. Note that the mounting base is designed in such a way that it can be mated with the panels of varying thicknesses. With a mounting tray, you could increase the clearance so that thicker panels could freely fit into the base groove. If the clearance is sufficient, without using a tray, simply cut this element off. and reveals and install the panels on the facade. Alter Decor is a system of elements with which one can easily decorate any window or door opening. The trimming and reveals system makes the facade look attractive and finished concealing panel assembles seams and joints. In addition to aesthetic properties, it also has other advantages. Resilience to mechanical damage and ultraviolet radiation, as well as ease of transportation and, of course, installation. The sequence and rules for installing the elements are fairly simple. First, it is necessary to measure the length and height of the window opening. This is necessary to install a finishing trimming plate immediately adjacent to the window. This plate is fastened around the perimeter of all windows. Next, install the reveal corners. Measure the depth of the opening and adjust the size of the element accordingly. Then, fasten the lower corners with self-tapping. The next step is installation of reveals mated with the already fixed corners. In this case, we also need to cut off the not needed part of the element to make it fit the depth of the opening. The number of elements depends on the window's height and width. Between them, the reveals are joined by means of special ridges. In case of mating a reveal with a corner element, the ridges need to be cut off. It is due to the fact that the element is multi-operated and can be used both on the right and on the left sides of the opening. After all the elements are ready, they can be joined together and fixed on the window. But before that, you have to make sure that all the elements are installed at the right angle. Use the balance level to do that. Installation of the reveals is completed. They can be mated directly with front panels. But in order for your facade to look more noble, we recommend that you use the special Alta Profile plat bands. Alta Deco decorative plat bands are mated with the already installed reveal. If you have done everything right before, then their fastening to the crate will not be a problem. The sequence and the rule for mounting this element are identical to those that we discussed earlier. The plat band, as well as the reveal, are multi-operated. 
The same element can be installed both on the right and on the left side of the window. This is why, when mating it with the corner, you need to cut off the locking ridges. This is what a window trimmed with the Alter Decor system looks like. After it is installed, you can proceed with installation of front panels. We remind you that we visually highlighted the base of the building with the bottom row of panels by setting a metal gutter on them. In order to start installation of a new row, we need to install a starting metal section. All the sections must be placed strictly horizontally. You can use a string for this purpose. The self-tapping screw is screwed into the perforated part of the wide flat section of the facade fastening system. On the outer corner of the building, the panels are mated with the fixing base of the corner finishing system, which we installed earlier. The first panel needs to be trimmed so that its left edge is even. Then, the lower part of the panel is inserted into the starting section, and the even side into the base groove. Now, the panel can be fixed with a self-tapping screw. To install panels around the windows, mark them on the places of mating with the plat band and cut off the not needed part with a grinder. Then connect the locks and insert the panel into the grooves of the finishing elements. If you have correctly measured and trimmed the panel, the joints will not be visible. In the same way, you can easily finish all the openings on the facade. In rare cases, the panel cannot be fixed on the grate, for example, if the panel and section perforations do not coincide. In this case, we recommend to install a crossplate. The second row and all the following ones are installed on the facade in the chessboard fashion. Vertical joints of the rows must not coincide. It is a guarantee of the facade's durability and its rigidity. Make sure that when mounting each new row of panels, all the locks match the top edge of the lower row of panels. If you comply with all of these rules, the house finished with front panels will make you happy for many years. The final step of facade finishing is installation of decorative elements of the corner finishing system. You can choose any combination out of those that our designers offer or create your own and make the facade of your house truly unique. The elements are easily attached to the base, however, they are very securely fixed. Therefore, before the installation, make sure to draw a scheme of the corner to be. The installation is finished. Now, your house looks respectful and elegant. It is reliably protected against wind, rain, snow and is resistant to the sun's rays. Walls finished with altar profile panels are indistinguishable from a facade of natural stone or brick, even from a distance of several steps.